evening of September 11th, Russian troops launched a missile attack on Kharkiv power station. A fire broke out. Rescuers worked at the site. The Russian occupiers struck critical infrastructure of the city with two H-101 cruise missiles. According to law enforcement officers, two people were killed. Both were employees of the critical infrastructure facility, employees of Ukrenergo, the electricity distribution systems operator. Two more were wounded. There was a very serious fire. The whole city of Kharkiv saw the fire. And transformer oil was spilled. We had to localize those fires as quickly as possible in order to restart the power system. The war to the deaths. Bombing a transformer substation was purposeful and not random. It was done so that Kharkiv was left without communications. As a result of hitting the power station, several regions were left without electricity and water supply. The Kharkiv, Sumy, Poltava, Dnipropetrovsk and partially Donetsk regions. Specialists of Kharkiv Obolenergo, the electricity distribution systems operator, together with other services, worked all night long to restore the power grid in the region. As of the morning of September 12th, the fire was extinguished. At this moment in the region, electricity and water supply has been restored by 80%. The work continues. We thank our power engineers and rescuers for their prompt and selfless work. Oleksiy Yehubov, head of the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration, on Telegram. According to Herman Haushenko, Minister of Energy of Ukraine, a total of 40 substations of various voltages were de-energized as a result of massive strikes by the Russian army. Four power engineers were killed. Yesterday there was one of the most massive shelling of the energy infrastructure. Zmivska Sermo power plant and three high-voltage substations were shelled. 40 substations of various voltages were de-energized. Two 750 kilowatt overhead lines as well as five 330 kilowatt overhead lines were disconnected. Herman Haushenko, Minister of Energy of Ukraine on Facebook. He noted that by Monday morning the power supply in the Poltava and Donetsk regions was fully restored. Meanwhile, 1.7 southern consumers in the Sumy region, about 3 southern consumers in the Dnipropetrovsk region and 12 southern consumers in the Kharkiv region remain without electricity supply. A total of 12 cruise missiles were fired by the Russian occupiers on the territory of Ukraine the night before. Nine of them were shot down by air defense forces. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Nadia Sukhorukova, UATV News.